Katie Canning, and I am a senior and also a sixth grade survivor. I am here to share with you a little of my Ursuline experience. When I started at Ursuline, I was seven inches shorter and seven years younger than I am today. At 11 years old, I could have never guessed just how much love and pride I would have garnered for this place. Seven years of camaraderie, tradition, knowledge, and sisterhood awaited me. As a senior who will graduate this spring, Ursuline has become my second home and will be terribly difficult to say goodbye to this upcoming May. As I experience my last occasions and events at Ursuline, I continue to reflect on my firsts already seven years ago. The summer of 2011 was full of anticipation as I awaited my start at Ursuline that coming September. When I arrived, I found myself surrounded by new faces and many teenage girls who already had their braces off, were learning to drive, and had plans for college. Gosh, I said to myself, the seniors are like many adults. How suddenly seven years have flown by, and now I am that self-sufficient 12th grade student I once looked up to with wonder. In the sixth grade, I found myself thriving in my new environment. Coming from the relatively small chapel school, I embraced the opportunity to meet a slew of students from all over the county, many of whom I'm still fortunate enough to call friends today. Along with new relationships came a newfound sense of independence. Gone were the days of elementary school, walking in lines alongside a classmate paired by the teacher. I now have the freedom to make my own decisions, something I appreciate, as it has prepared me for later years and my future endeavors. From the start, Ursuline fostered a spirit of community and kinship. Because of our shared status as Ursuline students, there was an immediate sense of connectedness amongst all the girls. This bond has only continued throughout my time here. To give you an idea of the Ursuline spirit, two summers ago, I was driving home from a beach on Cape Cod with my family. As we were waiting at a red light, a car eagerly pulled up next to us and rolled down their window. They had seen our Ursuline bumper sticker and frantically drove to catch up to us. In the passenger seat was a fellow Ursuline girl who had graduated when I was in middle school. She proudly held up her hand, showing off her Ursuline ring, and we chatted about our beloved school as the light turned green. This encounter, five and a half hours from home, is a testament to the strength of the Ursuline community and the pride we feel for our school. During my middle school years, I especially valued Mrs. Hartline Perez's personal development program. The ideals I learned in her class and on the grade wide retreats became the foundation for my relationships and enabled me to become a more connected individual to my thoughts and emotions. The personal development program provided me with the tools necessary to prosper during my teenage years. My growth from the class was particularly helpful as I transitioned into high school, when my class size almost tripled. I found myself relying on the knowledge I gained from past personal development classes and retreats as I formed new friendships and tackled more challenging classes. A lot has changed since I began at Ursuline. I've gotten my braces off, learned to drive, and have been accepted into college. Yet, a lot has remained the same. I still dedicate my time to my work in the classroom, involve myself in the Ursuline community in as many ways as I can, and treasure the moments I have with my peers. I may have grown seven inches, but my intellectual, social, and spiritual development over the last seven years could never be conveyed through any number. I urge you to come to Ursuline and experience this growth for yourself. Thank you. I'm glad I don't have very much to say now after those two speeches. Wow.